Emilio Star. Oh, great! You're home! Hola, Popo! Hola, Mita! Hi, Milk and Chubba Paw! How's it going? Muy bien! We're in Spain with our friend Sadito. Remember, his uncle Emilio, who makes great paella, he's throwing a party tonight at his restaurant. We're having a party too! It's our cousin's second birthday! We made her a birthday cake! It's baking in the oven! Oh, it's not quite ready yet! And what are you two celebrating tonight? We're celebrating a victory! Would you like to hear the story? Of course! Tell us why the cake bakes in the oven! Perfect! Because our story mm -hmm. has to do with cooking. It all began on the beach, not far from the restaurant. We had gone with Sir Dito to pick up a crate of fresh fish for his uncle Emilio. Aha! Huh? Oh! Huh? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Sir Dito, have you seen all this stuff on the beach? Yeah, it all washed up on the shore during the night. There's not just fish in the ocean. Oh, look! A bottle! Maybe there's a message inside. No, it looks empty. Oh, <laughs> too bad. Oh, here comes Fernando with our fresh fish. Ah! Look out! I'm... Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, hello, Fernando! Fernando! Hello, kids! Straight from the ocean. Ah! I'm going to eat you up. <laughs> huh? It's the seaweed monster. It's a shame I put my nuts away. The seaweed monster would have been a great catch. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh no! no! Ah! Help! It's a seaweed monster. <laughs> ah! Here's Emilio's order. I wonder what tasty new recipe he'll come up with this yeah, time. Yeah, me too. Emilio is a great chef. The paella he made last night was delicious. Speaking of great chefs, I hear there are food critics in the area and that they've come to award stars to the best restaurants. But shh, they're here incognito. Incognito? What does that mean? That no one knows they're food critics because they're disguised as ordinary customers. Will the food critics come to Casa Emilio? They might, yes. Quick! Let's tell Emilio. You coming? Yes! yes. <laughs> Have a great day, kids! Goodbye, Fernando! And thanks for the fish! Goodbye, kids! I think Emilio deserves a star in his restaurant guidebook. Maybe even two! His grilled king brawn is my favourite! <laughs> Yum! If the food critics come to the restaurant incognito, we won't even know they're there. I mean, how will we know who they are? Don't worry. I'm great at solving mysteries. We'll find out who they are. Woohoo! Come on, I'll race you there. Last one there is a rotten egg. Here we are, Casa Emilio. Ha ha! I win. Come on, Moot, Sardy Toe. Hurry up, slow coaches. We've got fish to deliver. Uncle Emilio! Ah, there you are. We brought the fish too. Great. So, what's the catch of the day? Let's see now. Sardines, red mullet, mmm, perfect. Oh! Thanks, kids. Emilio, huh? Fernando said food critics might be coming. Yeah, and they're incognito. They're here to award stars to the best restaurants. Which means everything has to be perfect today. Food critics that award stars only go to big, fancy restaurants. They're not interested in Casa Emilio. It's just a simple little restaurant on the beach. Nothing fancy. <laughs> Maybe, but it's so tasty and fresh. If we were food critics, we'd give you loads of stars. Hey, what about that guy? Maybe he's a food critic, pretending to read the paper. <laughs> no, he's one of my oldest customers. I've known him for years. He's not a food critic. Here's today's menu. For the appetizer, a seafood salad with sardines and shellfish. For the main course, we'll be serving red mullet a la mama with fresh herbs and wild rice. Yum, yum! And, last but not least, dessert. We'll be serving my special El Diabolito watermelon mousse. Wow! A menu like that deserves a star for sure. Thanks, Mook. But food critics don't just judge the food, they also judge the hospitality, the service and the decoration. Oh. We can do that part! Yeah! There. Perfect. What do you think of my table decoration? I'm not sure about the seaweed. It's not chic enough. Really? I thought it looked nice. I think a bunch of flowers would look better. Good idea! Hmm. Hmm. I know where to find pretty flowers. Follow me! Oh, no! 
hope the food critics will never find Emilio's restaurant with a sign like that. Hmm. We've got more than just tables to decorate. Come on, Moop, hurry up! Coming! Wait for me! Them, but we have something to do first. I've got what we need, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. I love what you did with the tables. Well done, kids. You've done wonders with the decoration. And we even painted the Casa Emilio sign. Oh, good idea. It really needed it, huh? And look, it brought me new customers. Oh, isn't this place charming? Yes, I like the ambience. Emilio, we've got customers. What do we do? Take their orders, and I'll start cooking. Here we go, kids. <laughs> Thank you. I'm your waiter. May I take your order? The red mullet a la mama sounds interesting. What's in it? Well, there's a... a... Emilio! What's the red mullet a la mama? It's OK. Don't bother. We'll have two full menus, please. And, uh, would you like water or juice? One salad and one orange juice. Got it. Thanks. Three salads and two red mullets. Three salads and two red mullets. Three salads and two red mullets. Muy bien. Here you are. Bon, bon appétit. appétit. Thank, Thank you. you. So if there's a food critic here, who do you think it is? Mm. What about the couple you waited on, Chavapa? Mmm, mm, mm. delicious and original. It's got personality. Mmm, I doubt it. And the man with the hat. Maybe he looks suspicious. What? Huh? Huh? Hello? Do you hear me? Hello? Oh, this phone is a piece of junk. Hello? Don't keep calling me back. I told you I can't hear a thing. That's technology for you. <coughs> he looks like he could be incognito. Hello? I'll take his order. Hello? Oh, hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hello? No, I can't hear you. Oh. Uh, ahem. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, what will you have? I'll have uh, the three-course menu, please. Yes, right away, sir. Uh, hello! Are you still there? What do you mean, stop yelling? I'd stop here yelling you are. if I could get a decent signal around here. Oh. Enjoy your meal. I'll bet you anything it's him. The phone that doesn't work, the suit. It's all a big act to make us think he's not a food critic. <laughs> stop for a minute and listen. <laughs> It's cooked to perfection. And visually, it's very appealing. The only critics I care about are my customers. And if they're happy, so am I. Speaking of which, I need to finish preparing the red mullets and the dessert. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I can't get a signal. I'll call you back. Oh, this doesn't look half bad. Mm. Oh, it does. <laughs> it must be lively here when the musicians play. Oh, you should play something. Customers love hearing live music. Mm. Not me. I don't. I like to eat in peace. Time to serve the main course. I just wanted to thank you for the great meal, Emilio. It put a smile on my face. I was pretty stressed when I got here, but thanks to you, the stress just disappeared. Well, I guess Emilio won't get a star after all. It's too bad. None of the customers were food critics in disguise. Or maybe they were just really well disguised. Ah! They're the food 
food critics. I knew it from the very beginning. You guessed it. We're both food critics for the guide to the best beach restaurants. That's right, and we both love Casa Emilio. We've decided to award you a star, and you certainly deserve it. Really? really? Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, a star in a restaurant guide! Oh, cakes ready! Doesn't oh. it look good? Yum! It looks amazing! Wow, I wish we could taste it. You deserve a star, too. Well done. Thanks, Mook. Well, the cake is ready. We have to go. See you soon, guys. Goodbye.